Hello, Randy Rain here, and I have a Sears Targetron, and it is not on target. This is Randy Robot Garage. So I've actually already done a video on this years ago, but I apparently put some music on there, and then all of a sudden I got a copyright claim. I, it was nonsense, but I didn't feel like dealing with it, so I just deleted the video because I knew I would be returning to this thing. And it's back down to what was always wrong with it. It's this gun. There's a problem with it, and it needs to be fixed because this is actually my favorite light gun. So, so let me get started. And this part right here is what I did in the last video is I made this is because this right here was completely missing. When I got it, it was just this. This right here, this is all I got. And I made this part. I bought a little magnifying glass, a little one that, a little plastic one that flips open. And I took the little glass, magnifying glass out of the little casing and I 3D printed this. I even made the threads for this and it actually screws on like so. This pops off and then you got some screws. And you can see here, this is my doings right here. I put this epoxy putty in there because this is supposed to go right here. And with this little lens, it wouldn't work right there. But if I moved it to here, the lens, it would be perfect. And you would literally see the filament on the wall like it's a projection but then the light bulb burn out and then I put this one in it and now what happens is it's all blurry it doesn't work anymore because where the filament is at here is wrong so technically this thing needs to be adjusted again for this light bulb that's what I'm going to try to eliminate here. I'm going to use some LEDs. This thing requires a 9 volt. So I'm going to use three LEDs. Figure out where that's supposed to be. Maybe even make something adjustable. I don't know how well that's in there. I doubt that's stuck too good. I think it's just mechanically locked in there. I don't think it's actually stuck bonded. Yeah, there we go. I guess the other thing I should do is replace this 9 volt connector here. Mm, that doesn't look right. I'm just going to cut it. I don't think I'm going to save that. Well, you never know. Got this little connector there. See, it works. Guess I should try it on my nine volt. And perfect.
Hmm, interesting. I guess it makes sense. It is a six volt light bulb. Up there. But you're still not lighting up. I don't know why. This should be negative and positive, right? Yeah. Why will that light up a light bulb, but not two LEDs? Well, that don't make a damn bit of sense. All right, so you tell me that if I do this, brand new LED, now that won't light up. Yeah. Well, that works. Two of these. Well, that's not going to work. It shoots two. I can see two dots on the wall. Just like here. Alright, so only one LED is going to work. I may have to put some sort of resistor. Alright, my LED isn't going to work. I just can't focus it to get it bright enough because when I focus it uh, it actually it's not bright anymore you just kind of see the actual plastic I even tried bigger ones I even tried putting a lens in front of that and that's not working for me so I'm going back to a light bulb I made this little doohickey and it goes right there. Easy peasy. Alright, I think I can get a solder onto there. I remember last time people said I should have made it make a sound and they were right it should have a sound so that's what I'm gonna try to do some people may remember this book I bought this one when I was in high school that's how old this is and I actually have two of them because I lost one bought it again and then I found it so I have another one of these somewhere. This book is still being made today, just not by Radio Shack. But in the back here, there's several circuits. Here's a metronome and a siren. Those could be used to make the space gun sound. There's this tone generator, but they don't even make these anymore. And if you buy this little Union Junction transistor circuit, it is like 10 bucks a piece for one of those. So let's move on. Now you get over here to the photo circuits. And right here is the Audible Light Probe. And this is a pretty much the exact same circuit. It's pretty much the same circuit here. This one and this one. There's different transistors, but they're doing the same thing. And this is a photoresistor, and I have one of these, and I could pretty much make this circuit right here. But I think I can just replace the photoresistor, the power from that's lighting the light bulb, 
Let's just charge this whole thing. We'll probably make some sort of laser sound. So that's what I'm going to do. First, I need a 2N3904 and a 2N3906. We need some capacitors and some sort of resistors. here. So I went ahead and made the circuit because it wasn't working. Then I realized it's not for a 9 volt. It's supposed to be this. Just one and a half. When I do this, it actually does work. Then when I put a 9 volt to it, Let's try some different resistors. That sounds like Morse code. I'm going to try a smaller speaker, see if it works. That'll work. I started looking at this siren in here, which it's a very similar, but there's an added capacitor to make a little more fluctuation. And so I just kept putting in different capacitors and different resistors until I got this sound. Okay, I gotta go with it, man. I love it. Alright, I changed my mind. I went back to the bigger speaker. Sounds better. And it doesn't sound like a dying cat. I'm like, insulate it. Go ahead and shove it underneath there. And this can go like that. This goes up here. I'll go ahead and show you what's inside here. There's not a whole lot. Just a circuit board and a speaker. But there it is. That's it. Check out the old school. The old bubble top transistors here.
And look at that little photo resistor. Wow, I just realized this is broke here. I don't know how that happened. I want to see if a little plastic weld is what it does. And you got the old school traces on the back here, which you just don't see anymore. So there it is, the Targetron that you could get from Sears. Well, it's working good now, and it works just like it was the last time I refurbished it. But now the gun makes a little space noise. A little space noise. It makes a noise. But it does work, so let me show you. So that is the replacement video for the Targetron that I did some sort of music on there. I don't know why I even put music on there. But if you like this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more stuff, of course, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people right here. These are the patrons. These are the people bringing you the Targetron from Sears again. And I thank them oh so very much. And if you'd like to become a patron, of course, there's links and all that and everything. Anyway, thanks for watching the Sears Targetron. That was Randy Robot Garage. Well, let's go home. Okay. Uh, uh.